station. It is a mess up here, but progress is being made. So, as you can see, it's pretty messy up here. Um, I've got loads of wood up everywhere and I've just got absolute sawdust everywhere, but I have got ventilation and I have got a little vacuum as well, but it's just uh, keeping on top of it. So, when I last left you, I had all the frames out, uh, lowered and ready to start putting in the uh, innovative track section track section as you can see there is some track down but that was it's not there it was just me playing around for one and also trying to get a feel for the uh, curves that may be there but ignore any track work it's just uh, as a, a guide effectively so what have I been doing I'm gonna very carefully turn you up so you don't see and bring you down to my track plan now that was the section we were just looking at um, this is still this area certainly is open for change but the if we remember the red section is going up and this particular curvy green bit is going down and then this orange section is sort of a raised section and then the red again comes back down and this green um, goes even further down and obviously the blue area is the water so that was how I left it and it might not have been very clear but where have I got to so far now if we start over in this corner some of this may be changed but I do recommend pinning track plans on both sides so you can just sort of keep on top of it uh, that has been a, a massive help so as you can see there's the track deck level there it comes out to where some point work will be and you can see I've got a line on the back and a line here dropping down as well as a middle section where those set track curves are just there I'm not using them you will see why they're in a minute that section is going up and these are going down and that has a, a piece missing there so it's yet to be cut out the idea is, is that now has gone down two inches and that's gone up two inches so there is actually a four inch gap between that level there and that level there so there'll be a piece of wood that goes across there and that will be flat as you can see this section at the back excuse the dehumidifier picking in is now four inches higher than that because that's one level and it's dropped two and gone up two inches giving us this separation here so I've now got a big area here and then I've got the track area at the back which is four inches higher. Um, I have just cut out this section here just as a bit of working room for now just because I'm where I'm cutting and sawing but you can see it's there it will um, come back up onto there um, and then as we go further across you can see uh, this really low area here is the water section so there is here and you can see that is then four inches lower as well so there's four inches between that and four inches between that so this is actually eight inches above the framework and this is four inches above the framework and that is at framework level um, there will be a bridge there um, I've left it uncut because I'm not sure if I'm going to scratch build something or have some maybe some sort of via viaduct type bridge i'm really not sure i've left that open for now um and then that is uh we'll then start going back down to meet back up with the board level there so then i've still got to bring in another down section and this board here uh, is it's not screwed in it will be elevated up to this height here so we'll actually see it sort of something like that and that's um will give me that section there so then the track will come down from over there two inches to there so if you imagine i'll just lower this one with two hands imagine this is here We've got four inches here, and the baseboard section over there, there that height is somewhere here. 
in the middle. So what the upper track is doing is traveling two inches and the other track down below is coming two inches. So it means you can sort of have greater uh, depth in curves but over a shorter distance. So that is one of the benefits of doing this open framework. Whereas before, if I'd have had it all at that height there, and had the boards up at that height to get up four inches so imagine it was sort of here it would be a much more steeper gradient so that's i hope that sort of makes sense um and i'm hoping the visuals will be explained a bit better it might even make sense if i sort of do it with this one which is completed so that is the set height this section here to drop in two inches while that is coming up two inches. If you imagine that if it was all at that height, you can see by the time it got to here, it would only have risen that much instead of that much because I've lowered this section down so it increases that height and that's why the track will come down. There's another one behind which will, uh, sorry, excuse my other brands are available. Um, we'll come down this track here and they will merge here. Look at my plan, sort of come around and merge. So I've already got some great opportunities for bridges and roads and all sorts of stuff. You know, I can maybe put some sort of road going through that way. I've got the entrance to the docks will be sort of via some sort of bridge out that way. And then I'll obviously have the back scene around the back. My original plan, this purple line was the back scene. So the back scene was going to come in front of this section here. And then the trains would appear from behind. That's why this was sort of at an angle across a bridge. Disappear again behind the back scene. Here. Yeah. And then sort of reappear out here. However, I think I'm going to put the back scene behind and actually see trains running so that's something I'm playing with um, and then this section here that's cut out is this small bit here I'll then pop back uh, pop back in here and then there'll be it'll be come up to this height here so there'll be another board that goes pretty much across there all at that height which gives me a nice basically quite a large dock area in effect which I'm hoping you have a sort of vaguely marked out two track rips there two track rips there or there and there and I'll be able to get quite some long trains freight trains in there uh, and I'll have some sort of very shorter sidings that'll only sort of come to here for maybe sort of depot storage and um, head chunks etc. Um, I'm, I'm really not sure this track plan is just a guide so um, at the moment it's sort of where I'm going. So how have I been doing this? Now this one was the first attempt I've started here and worked my way around um, and it's a little bit more complex because the track is going between the, the two downs but I'm going to talk about this one because I'm probably going to redo the one I've just shown you in the style I've done this. So it's, it is better to have, rather than having the incline decline start on a join like I have over there, you can see it pretty much starts join, um, whereas here the incline starts on, on an actual solid piece of wood and bends, so it makes it a much smoother transition and I've just joined um, these two pieces, that were, it's already in the middle of a um, decline and it's braced either side, so it's quite rigid. I mean, it really isn't going anywhere. Sorry, that's loose, and then that goes all the way down there. So I knew that was my starting height, and I knew it had to come up two inches. So I started with the area that I knew that would be level um, and raised that effectively. Eight inches now please do if you are going to do anything like this you have to bear in mind the width or the thickness of your board 
because if you bring it up eight inches and then you've got a nine mil, you've got eight inches and then nine mil. And if you don't do everything the same height, it will all be off. So what I did when I measured was I measured eight inches, got this little off cut of nine mil and then pencil lined um, through. So, so for example, this is my height strut. As you can see, these are being brought up here. I'd measure eight inches and this, uh, for argument's sake, say here was eight inches. It obviously isn't, but let's say it is. I'd put my screws here and then it would sit up like that and the board would sit. Um, sorry, I haven't got my uh, helping hand today. And the board would then sit on top like that. Now, I then did my line, got a nine mil and then penciled that way. So I didn't have a nine mil gap and I knew that when I lined it up with the frame of the board, that if I brought it to the that line there, that once I put the nine mil board on top, it would be exactly eight inches or four inches or whatever my measurement was. It's a little bit fiddly, but it's you know you measure it once, put your nine mil on, line it off, rather than having to measure an odd number of like inches and mils. So you know, try and take nine mil off of four inches, which is just over ten centimeters. You know, it's just easier to go up four inches and then drop nine mil that way. Um, so what else? Um, it is making sure that you know every area is properly supported um, because if you put any sort of weight in the middle and it's not properly braced it's obviously you're going to have some, well one risk of warping and two any weight on there could damage it so you see underneath here it's quite heavily braced all the way along yes it uses more material but what would you rather have something that you know is definitely strong I mean I, I, I have been and can stand on these and put my full weight on these um, that's the sort of strength we're going to because if it can take my weight it's definitely going to resist warping um, let me just uh, show you what I mean so here we go look feet off the floor and I'm sitting on this section here you know bouncing and it is taking my weight very well so I would say maybe it's over engineered but I know that if it can take my weight it's going to resist warping uh, and I know that there's no weak spots uh, and it will definitely hold any weight that I put on there. Um, the same with these, this section here, get a good spirit level, um, honestly I can't recommend it enough. You know, get, get everything level because it's, it's you know. You don't want your trains rolling and stuff so that is the beauty about getting these so even if your frame even though i've got the adjustable feet to bring the frame level if there is any fine tweaking you know you can bring these individually up and down so you put your spirit level on mark your lines and then once you put it all back together it will screw together nicely so i appreciate i've been waffling through this this isn't so much of a how to but more of a where I've got to so far you can hopefully see now the plan coming together in a, a sort of a, a realistic way and hopefully the the, the realisation of it is a bit easier to imagine now and it should be quite nice having trains coming through up you can see them sweeping over and running around a nice circuit while I can do some sort of shunting in the yard I've got a way for trains to come down into the yard, uh, sorry, the docks, I don't know why I said yard, down into the docks and then do what I've got to do and then they can come out and back up. And that's why I've done an up and down on both lines so they can come in in the flow of the track and out into the flow of the track rather than having to come out, stop and then go back the other way. You know, it's, it's, it is great that way. Uh, and this side is a little bit more simple, the trains just do run down um, and, and go 
go back on to that height and then I've got this single sort of branch side effectively down into this area here. I mean that might, this track plan is not set in stone, this might all still change but it's, um, it's definitely a good starting point and I'm happy with the spacing. Part, part of me when I took this off was like, mm, I might even leave that off but I think you know, it seems silly dropping out another foot just for effectively water. You know, it's, you know if, if I was going to do that, I might as well as not even put this on and just have the water sort of stop there um, and then just corner off like I did before. So I think I will put this back on. Gives me more sort of track space here rather than having to try and squeeze everything in here. Um, but you know, it's, it's, it's something to consider. So, yes, I've just looked at the time. This is already way over 15 minutes, nearly 16 minutes of me waffling around. And yes, it is a mess up here, but you know, I'm, I'm only getting up here every so often and just cracking on and tidying at the end of the day, really. So, I hope that this is starting to um, visualise clearer for you guys now. Uh, and you can sort of see what the plans are and, and how we're doing. So all this have to do is this sort of last bit here, pull this up, and then I probably will redo this section here in the same way that I've done this. So it's one long piece rather than sort of multiple joins. But yeah, thanks for sticking with me, guys. Sorry the videos are few and far between, but um, it's yeah, it is a hobby, and um, I'll get up here and do what I can when I can and keep you guys posted. So do stay with me. Um, it is coming together and uh, hopefully I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.